Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Penn, the creator of Bullet Bunny, artist animator for Dome Keeper, artist animator for Shogun Showdown, and today we're going to be doing this glitch attack tutorial. So we'll be doing this glitch out attack and there will be a couple quick slices and then a sweep at the end. So the two attacks will be in the video and we'll be showcasing them a lot. And if you want to learn how to do something simple like this, I have another video on YouTube for free called Insanely Smooth Attack Animation. It's very popular and it's essentially the exact same thing. Almost identical swipes. It's just a little quicker. So if you want to do that beforehand, watch that video. If you don't and you just want to learn the glitch effect watch this one so to lay it out we will do this kind of squat glitch out and once we're done that we'll do these two quick glitch slices and then we'll do the sweep and then we will uh, glitch it back into the original position of this attack so let's begin on a fresh canvas well not fresh but fresher and let's just take this last frame here where it's in kind of the end position of the two attacks and we can delete the vfx particles and what we're going to do is just make an, another frame. We can go ahead and tag this as glitch out and then we can just move some parts down. So let's take the sword, the head, the wire and the body which moves. You can see it moves some here as well So we'll just have to adjust this bottom piece. So let's take this pixel and put it on this side. We'll take this pixel and put it on that one just to keep the volume of it consistent. And then you can go ahead and move to this leg and we'll put it here. And if you're on Patreon, you'll have the file for this. I'll, I'll include this and it's all separated. You can see we have a glitch shadow layer, a head layer, body layer, wire layer, leg layers, and a sword layer. And then the VFX if we need them. So let's continue. So now we have a second layer where he's kind of just squatting a bit and we'll, we'll keep this one here, that pixel here. So he's squatting into position and let's do one more since we kind of know. And this time we're just going to move the head and sword. I think everything else should be okay. Instead, we will go to the, the right leg and we'll just add a couple pixels on this side and then we'll delete a couple on this one. And that's kind of just shifting pixels up and down. So again, we'll go to the other leg and we'll remove a couple pixels and kind of experiment which ones, maybe just one, and we'll add it to the, the opposite side. And then we'll see how that looks. And we can fool around up here as well, the body layer, and kind of delete a couple of these. And again, you can add them to the bottom down there. And let's just see how that looks. We'll slide across. And it looks like a squat. And the purpose of this kind of squat is to squat into the position and then glitch out. For the glitch shadow, we're gonna be using this, this blue. And the only difference, you wanna make sure, double click on the, the glitch shadow layer and switch it to hard light. You can keep it at 100% opacity or 255, depending on which setting you have it set on. And then you just want to go over your entire sprite character. There's many ways to do this, but I will just hand bomb it like so. And make sure you do perhaps the second frame and you might need to edit a bit since we did it on the wrong one there. Let's just redo this and we'll keep the, the sword glitch shadow here. I think it looks pretty cool. And then on the third frame of that, we can again fill it all in or copy and paste. And then what you want to do, you can keep these extra ones here since they look kind of cool. Use the rectangle tool and just grab a section and use the arrow keys to shift it left and right. So we're just pulling these apart pulling sections and you can do that on the first one as well just make sure kind of the opposite to make it more glitchy you don't want to keep them in the same spot so if you're going right on one frame go left on the other and that looks pretty cool then we're gonna go ahead and make a new empty frame we'll keep the background there even though we have the visibility hidden and we will take our glitch color and just the tail end of, of these tips. We'll just add a few pixels, make another frame, 
and just make them trail off quickly. Go ahead and do that on each tip, as many as you want really. And then we can go ahead and see what's happening. And you can see already it looks very good. You got the squat going happening quickly and then the glitch effect happening just as quick. So now the next frame we will make an empty one and we'll name this uh, the two slices. We'll break this up. We'll do two slices and we'll do the sweep. And with the slices I'm just going to use Alt N and make a bunch of frames. And we're going to work on the VFX frame. I'm just going to grab the color of the sword or which is the same as this VFX and to make sure we're working on these this pixel line right here and for the slices you can leave a couple frames I believe I did three frames in the original and what you want to do is use the ellipse tool the filled one and just make a circle like this and then grab a different color this is kind of just a way I like to do it and bring it into the circle leave it there highlight it again and delete then you kind of have this perfectly um, smooth slash that I like and it's a lot quicker than hand drawing it and I actually I'm gonna go to the left side first and I use shift H to flip it and then this is where you want to turn the sprite so it's on an angle if you grab the corner when you have it all highlighted you can pick an angle you like and then you're gonna get these stray kind of pixels and we're just gonna quickly clean that right up and that's sometimes just moving pixels and adding some to make it a bit smoother and so forth awesome so you have that cleaned up and we're just gonna quickly do the particles that come after this the slash so if we're working if the slash is going this way we're visioning it like that the particles are gonna kind of follow through and kind of swoop around with it and we don't need many kind of fool around with what what works for you and then quickly make them fade so just one frame of a few pixels and then the next one maybe even two and then the next just one and then you can make that one move if you want and we can just see how that looks looks great and we can add a couple more up here yeah that looks looks great as well and since it's the two slices we're gonna add another slice three frames after this one and we could just copy and paste it but to make it look a little more natural and different uh, let's just go ahead and make this one as well so same process make a circle make another one grab it if you don't like it you can adjust it make it a tad smaller leave it there and highlight it and delete it and I'm doing this on a different layer just in case we need to make some changes down the road it's all set up and it should be easy. I'm gonna highlight that and I'm gonna rotate it. I'm gonna get it in position and then clean it up like we did before. Make sure every little section looks peeling. Add some if you need to and delete some if you need to. Awesome. So we will do a couple more particles here quickly. And this one will be going the other way we need to change that later on it's fairly simple looks great and we might adjust some of these to make them kind of line better so we'll we'll highlight this whole layer or all these frames and kind of move it a bit and we'll do the same with this one kind of separate them a bit more then we can go ahead and kind of steal the glitch frames we had before. And we have four here, and I think the quickest approach is to copy the first one, adjust it into position, and one thing I'm going to do is take the sword of the glitch shadow and kind of just rotate it if I can to make it look like it's lining up with the, the slice. And then we can take the next three frames of the glitch out 
And let's start it where the second slice starts. And again, we're going to move it into position. And then we're going to adjust the, the sword. And we can check out how that all looks. Squats. So we have everything lower, so let's uh let's move it up. We need it right here, and we have the slashes happening below. So let's just go ahead and move that up and see how everything looks together. Looks great. I think one thing we can do is move the glitch shadows down a bit. And yeah, that looks Looks great. Maybe even adjust it a tad more. And I think we could even put the... And the last thing we'll do is just add... We'll go to the body layer. We'll just grab the body black color. And we'll kind of just add it behind the glitch. Just to give it a little more um, depth. And it doesn't necessarily matter where. Just as long as it feels a little more lively. And then one last preview. Looks great. Now we can move on to the last part, which is the finisher sweep. And it's gonna kind of be it's gonna be the same process. So we'll just start it off with a blank frame. And we'll do a couple alt n. And then we'll highlight them all. And we'll call the this the sweep glitch. And we're just going to start at a few frames uh, later, like we did with the slices. And we're going to make sure we're on the right one this time. And we're just going to do a big circle, just the position. And then we'll do another circle, just it, its position. That looks good. And then we'll grab it, delete. And we have our first slash. And this one we won't need to rotate, so we could go ahead and, and and touch it up now. Then we can go ahead and add the particles after. We'll turn on the onion skin so we can see where it's going. And this one's gonna go swooping from the left to the right. So we'll do these particles here. Maybe a couple over here. Next frame, we'll make them vanish real quickly. Let's see how that looks. Looks great, turn off onion skin, and looks great as well. And I believe I'm at 65 frames or uh, not frames per second for milliseconds. That's the frame rate in a sprite. So we have the slash and now we just need the, the keyframe of the character. And I already know, cause this is what I did in the first time or in the first, uh, first round I did this is I took this frame right here and just flipped it. So we'll do the same thing, copy and paste that. We will start it right when the slice starts. We will highlight them all and control H and we will position him. We can go ahead and copy it, paste it again. And we're gonna highlight all those frames again. And we're just gonna move it one pixel over and then we're gonna copy and paste again. And then we're gonna move it one. Make sure you're highlighting all of them and move it one more over. And we can see how that looks all together and see where we need to go from there. Looks great. There's no movement in the the final slice for the sweep. But let's go ahead and do one more and we'll just keep it in this position. And we're actually going to move body parts down kind of like the impact of the sweep. So the second frame of the sweep, we can use our V tool and just hold it while we click on body parts and move, move it down. And then when we move to the third frame, we will move this one down two, and the sword down two. And then 
we'll do the same with the fourth frame and we'll see how that looks overall it looks pretty good we could even try to move the head up on the last frame a bit more and what this needs now is some some movement in the other area so the legs maybe not we'll start on the third frame since since this covers um a lot of the leg on the third frame we can add jump to the leg layer and we'll just take some from the top here that you don't see so it blends in and we'll just add a couple here we'll go to the other leg layer we'll add a couple there and we'll actually remove from the top here just one and the next frame we'll do the same but we'll actually remove another one here and perhaps add it there and then we'll add some to other leg as well make sure you're on that layer and then we'll do the same with the body make sure you're on the body layer and kind of just the third frame we're gonna remove from there perhaps up here there and then we can take a look So the end of the video was messed up somehow. So I'll quickly go over what was done. We just finished the sweep glitch. And at the end, I added this glitch shadow here, which is basically just copy and paste the glitch shadow we use for the glitch out. And then it comes back to the beginning where he's kind of in the idle standing position and it quickly fades out there. So it's just a, a better look. It's not necessary, but just the final touch to the animation. And then I also added this flatten layer which I can quickly redo. I just copy and paste all these layers from the sword to the VFX, paste it, and then I'm going to highlight all of it again since we're duplicates of it. And then I'm just going to flatten it. And then I'm going to highlight the flatten layer and hit shift V which will flip everything upside down. And then you just want to hold V, make sure all the layers are, are selected, hold V and then drag it all down and then double click the layer and drop the, the opacity to about 20%. And then you have this beautiful animation that you can share on social media. And I hope you've learned something and enjoyed this video. If you are interested in doing the two first slashes, click on this video here. Thank you.